Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a 27 inch monitor that I got for Christmas. It is from BenQ and it is the GL2780. Get out of the box and let's have a look. So as you can see, it comes in a pretty good sized box, of course, 27 inch. It's nothing less than what you would expect. Stylish monitor with high care technology, LED backlight monitor. So we're going to get it out and let's see what this looks like. So I always set it on its side and you want to check when you're opening it up that all your parts, it's either going to be on this side or it's going to be on that side. So when you take it out, they're not all just falling all over the place. So we'll get it out. You can see it's well contained in the styrofoam, so packaging is uh, not something that should be of an issue. So once you got it out of the box, you're going to see that you've got your little uh, CD that comes with it. So you can go in and change it because it's a 75 hertz monitor, so it's not quite 144, but it's there. Your manual, everything you need to know is in this uh, little quick startup guide. And of course, then we have our cable, which is a... Uh, HDMI cable included. It's always nice. Um, unless you want to play, use display port or whatever. You're going to have the, what's going to go on the back of your monitor. I'm just going to show you that here real quickly. Okay. We'll show you how that all goes on afterward. We'll just show you the parts here for now. Alright. Show you how that all goes together in a second. First you have your power cord and the other piece for putting everything together. After lifting off the first piece of styrofoam that was protecting it, now is our monitor all wrapped up in this little case here. So you just lift it up. Okay, be careful. And you're going to want to take all this off. Okay, so we have our first look here. And let's go over what we've got. So we have a DVI, VGA, just in case you're still rocking an older computer or something. You have your mic and headphones. And of course, you have HDMI and DisplayPort. So pretty much every connection you'd need or might want. Power goes in here. And of course, we got to peel off our little thing, which covers our BenQ uh, sticker or sign. So putting on the stand is pretty simple. We'll go ahead and just quickly show you that. So when you're looking at it, you're going to take this part right here, and you're just going to slide it in. Okay, okay. It's just simple as that. And then you're going to take your base, okay, so your base is going to go on here, and you've got a screw, okay, right here to tighten it on with. So you're going to lift that up a little bit, put it in there. Now, if it's not the right way, turn it around. So it's going to go like that, okay. So make sure that this hole, just to show you again, that hole right there, okay, that this is going to line up, so it shouldn't go in very far. It slid right up underneath here, and basically all you're going to do now is just tighten your screw. Won't take very much. And that's it. Push her down. Now we can set up our monitor on its stand. That's it. So, so after getting it on its stand, you can see it's got four holes here for mounting to the wall, uh, for a visa mount they call it. Okay, and as I turn it around, I'm going to show you the, there's no USB ports or anything like that on either side. Okay, something that uh, would cost you, of course, quite a bit more money. Then we have our, one of our monitor, a little piece of plastic over here. Okay, don't forget to take that off. So one of the downsides, of course, other than all your supplies that you've got here. So the only downside you got is there's no height adjustment. There's, there's a little bit of a swivel, okay to go back a fair bit, which could be useful, okay, probably right there is probably perfect. All your buttons, everything is all on the underneath here. Uh, the power button is white, okay, so just to, it's different from all the rest of them, just to indicate that for you. And so it's just a matter of plugging it in now, putting it into your computer with your HDMI cable and testing it out. Something else that's also good to know is a lot of people don't realize uh, same with power supplies that come with warranties. Monitors come with warranties from the manufacturer as well. BenQ has a long history of having good quality products. Their monitor 
three year parts, three years labor, or three years of use, I think is what that means, and three years on your back life. Okay, so we have our monitor up and running, so just wanted to go quickly to the website. So it's binq.com, and then you can search for your monitor, all this kind of good stuff. One of the things I didn't show you is, okay, along with the stand, is that this back plate comes off. So you can put your cabling in through here and just make it nice and tidy. So I always go over the specs, but in this case, I'm just going to show you what's on the website. So basically your max resolution is 1920 by 1080. So if you want more than that, well, you're going to have to dish out a few more bucks. It's a TN panel, LED backlit. You can see all the stuff here. Brightness is 300. It's quite bright when you first plug it in. So you have to work with the menu and do all your adjustments. It has a one millisecond uh, response time. 75 hertz refresh rate 16 and 9 16.7 million colors and so on and so forth okay so uh, one of the other features it has is a built-in speaker which is 2 watt times 2 and of course mention the headphone audio all kind of good stuff and uh, I'll just quickly scroll this uh, just so you can see everything in case you're interested one of the uh, couple other uh, interesting aspects is this flicker free technology low low blue light um has a brightness intelligence so it has that monitor on the bottom so on the bottom of the uh, monitor uh, it has a little sensor so that helps you um, depending on what room you put it in on the brightness level so one more thing i wanted to show you so you've got your power button which is the white one you can kind of see the little light shining down here and immediately to the left is your menu button okay so you can scroll through the pick the different ones you want and your up and down buttons are here. It shows you where they are here. So if you want to go up and down, you can. So you can pick your display, your input, your picture, so your brightness. So if you want to change the brightness, you just don't like it, over to your brightness and select it. And you can go over here and change it to whatever you want. Okay, so when you're done, you just hit the X, so the button on the bottom, and bring it back and uh, close it down to me. Okay, so we're going to go back in here one more time and we're going to go down to uh, the rest of it so you got picture different color temperatures your advanced picture your audio so you can mute it if you don't want and you want to use speakers something like that and of course system and all kinds of custom setups uh, to change it around to your liking so i thought i'd show you a little bit of how uh, the game looks you can hear the uh, audio coming from it and this is just a quick look at one of the games that's online. Uh, I'm not going to get too far into playing it, but just want to show you some of the graphics and what it looks like. I'm just going to minimize this a little bit so you can see better. And this is just one of the many games you can play. The colors are quite sharp, actually. All right, everybody. So one more thing I want to mention is the uh, CD that comes with it. It's probably about as accurate as their website. Very difficult to navigate to find what you want. Although I found after just playing with the menu a little bit, um, I was able to get it to come up without any real problem. So anyhow, if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. The likes really do help me. So think about doing that. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications, and stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.